Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo recently highlighted some of the grossest toys that are marketed to children today on the Ingraham Angle, in honor of the Christmas season and some of the selections were surprising, to say the least. While we expect the typical games like Rock'em Sock'em Robots and Battleship to be pushed to kids, it's a bit more shocking to see games involving plastic fecal matter and mucus for sale these days. Check out this list of some of the grossest and craziest toys on the market. We highlighted not just the pics mentioned on the Ingraham angle, but a few more that qualify as well. 1. Doggy Doo I think it glorifies crap, Arroyo said bluntly about this toy. Doggy Doo is a plastic dog that players focus on in order to get him to poop. If that sounds like a joke, it's actually not. In the game, players feed fake food to Doggy Doo and then spin a wheel. The number they get on the wheel tells them how many times they must squeeze a hose attached to Doggy Doo. This hose eventually makes him spit out plastic poop. I have the home edition of this. It's called Maddie the Poop Machine. I don't need a game, Arroyo pointed out on the Ingraham angle, a reference to his family's dog. Too. Snot it. We're not kidding. We wish we were. In this game, players are provided with snot glasses which are plastic glasses with a long piece of rubber attached to them. This rubber is meant to be snot and is used to collect boogers from a spinning bowl. Players have to collect the boogers that match the snot in order to win. The first one to collect 10 boogers is the victor. Snot it is for kids who are 6 or older. 3. Flush in Frenzy This game does the hard work of teaching kids how to unclog a toilet. The plastic toilet spits out dice on a player's turn. The number on the dice tells that player how many times he or she has to plunge the toilet. Eventually the toilet is plunged enough that a plastic, smiling piece of poop shoots out. The player who catches the poop earns two tokens and the player with the most tokens at the end of the game wins. Flush in Frenzy is for kids who are five or older. 4. Pull My Finger, the Fatting Monkey Game The Fatting Monkey Game is well, a toy based around a fatting monkey, who came up with all of these over-the-top games. Anyway, players pull on a purple monkey's finger each turn, which makes the animal's buttocks inflate more and more. Players never know when the buttocks will deflate and the monkey will fart but when he does, you lose. Besides the fatting monkey, there's a wheel kids spin each turn to actually win the game. The fatting monkey game is advertised to kids who are four or older. Its marketing materials boast that it includes two favorite things, monkeys and farts. Five. Pimple Pete. This game offers a chance for kids to be sprayed with pimple juice and to learn the joys of popping acne, not making it up. The game contains a large plastic head with pieces of plastic for players to pull during their respective turns. The object of the game is to not pull in such a way that Pete's nose sprays with water, the so-called pimple juice. Pimple Pete is for kids who are five or older.